Hey everybody, this is Erin Lincoln, and I'm here to show you how to put together the stitched key fob featuring the stitched medallion one. As you can see, this is a double-sided key fob. Gives you opportunity to embellish both sides, and it folds over a D-ring. So it's really quick and easy. You know, we don't even really need the video, but I thought I'd go ahead and do it anyway. So let's get started. Okay, this is the key fob uh, stitching die and you're going to go ahead and run that through your die cut machine. I like to trim like rough cut around my die so I can really save on felt. Use those other little bits and pieces for something else. Okay, run it through. Cuts cleanly. Cuts the holes for stitching. And on the second pass you're gonna put whatever holes only embellishment dies you want. I have the cross stitched alphabet here in H for the monogram. Really a perfect size. And this is the new stitched medallion one. And this is the holes only. I have a little piece of washi tape to help me orient it so I know it will look uh, level straight up and down when this is sewn together. And I chose washi tape instead of sharpie because sharpie kind of wears off after a while. All right, and you run those through at the same time. Piece of cake. Okay, I have one of these done already, just to give you a reference point. And I already um, cut out my medallion one pieces and sewed the H. You didn't need to see me do that. And really quickly on the stitch medallion, the first step is to highlight, stitch these little like flares along the edge. We did those. Next, you want to stitch in your main flower part. And then after you're done with that, you want to put in these inner petal petals. And it's almost like an inlaid die technique. They fit right inside. And it's just a, kind of like a flare stitch, which I like to use a lot. Okay, the next step on the stitch medallion is the little circle in the middle. And you're going to want to stitch up through the middle of that circle and down on the outer edges so you don't get fouled up with the corners of those inner petals. Believe it or not, it, it does make a difference. So I would do the center towards the outside. And you just stitch all the way around. We're doing this really quick. Um, you don't need to see me stitch it, but I did want to show you the order of the steps. And since we were making a key fob, figured this was the perfect opportunity just to show you steps one through four as far as the stitch medallion one goes. And the last step is that circle with the center, with the open center. And in this case, it's a hibiscus burst, and that goes on top, and you stitch all the way around. There you go, so fun. You can really let your floss colors shine. All right, moving on to the key fob. You're gonna fold it in half. And I do this with every stitching die tutorial. I show all the newbies how I do my stitching. And basically it is every other a running stitch. And then I reverse it and fill in those openings. If you notice, I also put my thread in between the two layers of felt. Now I'm going back and filling it in. I just This is just how I do it. I think it's really easy, simple, straightforward. Okay, here I'm just going to go through that one back hole and then stitch through the front on the one below. And we're going to go all the way across and back, just like we did on the top. Basically, we are making, folding this key fob in half, stitching the top close, and giving some reinforcement to where that D-ring is going to go. So we want these to last. These are going to get used quite a bit if they're on your keychain. Okay, now we're reversing. And for newbies, check this out. This last stitch, 
I only go through one layer of the hole, and so I'm going to come out between the layers of the felt, right there. So when I tie off my double knot, square knot here, and trim the edges, the knot's hidden between the layers of the felt. Snip, snip, hidden, looks professional, neat and tidy on both sides. Okay, I have a one and a quarter inch D-ring that I got at Joann's or any craft store. At this point, you fold one side through. I like the back because there's less felt, less to fold and slip through. And then we're going to sew this up. First part is this little bracket at the top. And this is just pretty much decorative. So I'm going to go to one side and then I'm going to sew back to the other. As you can see here, as soon as I move it, yep. And I also like to put a little stability, rigidity to the circle so it's not so flimsy part of the key fob. And so cut, I'm sure you have circle dies, about a two inch circle. And I use the coaster board that we carry in the store and that gives enough rigidity so this key fob, the circular portion, keeps its shape. And now I'm going to stitch it closed all the way around that circle, doing a running stitch and then reversing and then tying off. And it's that simple. This is a really quick, fun, easy project that I'm going to be making a ton of. I mean, I love these. This could be done in like an hour and a half. Perfect little gift for somebody. And it's great if it's monogrammed on the back. It makes it even more personal. All right, so that circle, the running stitch in one direction, reverse tie off and you're all done and here's two matching key fobs with monograms on the back these were for Eliza's preschool teachers okay I just love these remember it's the stitch medallion one and it gives you great opportunity to play with color and floss as well as you know some of your other stitching dies that you like seasonal stitches would be great on these too and just to show you they look great in the vintage favor box they fit perfectly, especially with three Ghirardelli chocolates holding them up to the front. It's like the perfect little package. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing your key fobs. Mm -hmm.